Okay, so here we have our piston pump, all right? And now this is a variable piston pump, but a balance would work the same way. A bent wood or a radial would work different, but you can see as this rotates, what's happening is down here, it's starting to be pulled back by the angle of the swash plate, sometimes referred to as the yoke. And this gets pulled back here and as it's spinning, that's gonna pull oil in. Now, the other side that you can't see is doing the opposite. So as this spins, you can see this starts to get pushed and this is the output. So this is the reverse. So this would be the input if I'm going this way, this would be the output. If I go this way, this would be the input, this would be the output. And so as this spins, it pushes that oil out through there, okay? All right, creating flow. Now, this is, if this was a fixed pump, piston pump, this is exactly how it would work. But since this one's variable, we also have the ability to adjust the swash plate. Now, this one can be done by hand, but there are a number of other mechanisms that can be used to do that. And so you can see how far these will be pulled back as they rotate. But if I tilt this a little bit, it's not pushing nearly as much. Let me give it a little bit more of a difference, okay? And then, if this was like pressure compensated, what would happen as the pressure builds up to the setting, this would come basically even and spin, but there would be no increase and decrease in the volume of the pump area. So, there would be no, it would not create any flow, okay? Because it wouldn't create that uh, pressure imbalance to create suction, all right? And this is how a piston pump works. This is a cutaway of a vein pump, which is one of the more popular pumps in Kankakee County. So we really wanna spend some time talking about them. There's a lot happening in here. So we have our shaft, we have all of our seals here, uh, our bearings to make sure this thing can spin. And what happens here is this shaft is spinning the veins inside of the cartridge that we talked about. And I'm gonna show you the inside of the cartridge here in a little bit. And um, as, that run, as this spins, okay, this will create flow in two different places, and then the oil will come in and out as needed. So it will get pulled in and then pushed out under pressure, okay? Now, I want to focus a couple of points on this. Hopefully, you can see the line here and the line here. What that is, is the point where you can disconnect these, what would be four bolts, to pull the back off, all right? This does a number of things for us that make the vein pump a very popular option out in industry. The first thing that it does is it allows us to pull this back and this will give us access to this cartridge. And so if we need to come in and replace this cartridge because of wear, it's really nice. You take off these four, you physically force this off, you can replace inside of here uh, the O-rings, the seals, the backup rings, all of the things that keep the oil in. You would pull this out, put it back, uh, replace it, okay? And then you'd be ready to connect this back up, all without needing to really disconnect the hoses or just one of them to get to it. If this was coming into a hose flange, that'd be great. Um, however, it's connected up. So it makes maintenance here very, very easy, okay? And that's why the vein pump is a really popular fixed pump in uh, Kankakee County. Now, that cartridge, let's take a look at what this looks like, okay? So what would be, what happens inside of this cartridge is really important. All right, so if I pull this apart, this is gonna be the front part of it that helps to hold it together and allows the oil to flow in and out through here. All right, now obviously this one's a little bit bigger by nature, but it still works fine, okay? 
We have our dowel rods or our pins that hold it all together. I'm gonna to be pretty careful here. All right, notice that I'm setting these up in order. Okay. All right. Then here's our back, the back of the cartridge. Here's the back of the cartridge. Now what we'll do is I'm gonna flip this over carefully so we can actually see how the vein pump works. So here's our ring, all right? And you can see that this is an oval shape, which is an indication that this is a balanced vein pump. As this thing spins, that forces the veins out against the wall. You can see here that um, as this were to spin, if I can get this centered in here, all right, you can see that the volume would increase here, okay, right here it would really start to increase, and then it would decrease again right here, and then it would do that in a 180 degree fashion. This is a really good example of a balanced vein pump cartridge right here, okay? We have the veins, we have the cam ring, okay? We have the rotor. All of this here, these are all the parts that are inside this cartridge inside of here. Now this is bigger, all right? What we showed you here is bigger, but this is how it works. And even as you spin this, you can hear if you if I, if your teacher quits talking, then actually fall. You wouldn't hear that when the pump's running. Let's take a look at a gear pump and try to understand what is happening inside of here. Now, this is probably the cheapest hydraulic gear pump you can get. This was donated to me for a long time ago. But this is what happens when this is running. So if I'm turning it this way, the volume is increasing here. And that will pull the oil into here. And the oil will get trapped. It will rotate around all the way through here on both sides, okay? And then as they come together here, as they, uh, the, the volume will decrease and the space here will stop and that will force the oil out this way, okay? Now this gear pump is about as basic as you can get. These are rugged, these are tough, and they do a really good job in dirty environments because they don't require the same clearances as the other places. But you can see here, oil comes in, travels around, and then gets forced out, okay? And now you can see here, um, we're gonna rotate this 360 degrees and we can watch the full motion. And that would be the amount of displacement that this particular pump would offer.